Yo, what is up guys and welcome back to another episode of Slice of Shonen. I am your host, The Cloudy Crow, and today we will be reacting to a brand new fall 2021 anime. An anime that I personally have been very much looking forward to. And the reason why is because a little while ago I was kind of scouring through all of the fall 2021 anime, trying to see if there was anything new that piqued my interest. Because there are a ton of new anime this season and many of them I've never even heard of before. And so I went through started watching the trailers looking at the synopsis or synopses and then once i got to tacked off destiny i read through the synopsis and i immediately thought hmm this this sounds a little bit familiar what does this remind me of and then it clicked Sympho gear. I believe the synopsis said something about like people fighting monsters using the power of music Which immediately made me think of Sympho gear. I had an absolute blast reacting to Sympho gear So if this anime is even remotely close to Sympho gear, then I think I'm really gonna enjoy it But on top of that I also got to check out the trailer and the trailer looks sick Immediately when I saw the characters and the fights it made me think of Fate Zero and so far all of it looks really cool but anyways that is enough rambling for me let's jump into this anime and see what the heck this first episode has in store for us so if you guys are excited for the episode make sure to leave a like it'll help me and the video out so much more than you might think so if you could take the time to do that for me real quick right now i would very much appreciate it and also consider subscribing to the channel for more tacked up destiny reactions every single week but with that all out of the way let's get right into this episode Alright, so here I have episode 1 pulled up, and before we get into it, I forgot to mention, if you would like to check out the uncut reactions, you can find those over on my Patreon, and you can join the Patreon for as low as $2. Not only do you get access to my tacked op reactions, but you also get access to my future Komi-san reactions, and I believe it's called Platinum End. Those are the other two anime of Fall 2021 I plan on checking out, and also the like 40 plus other series that I've reacted to on the channel you can find over there but without any further ado we will be starting this episode in three two one go wait why does her voice sound familiar i feel like i've heard her voice at least like a million times now in like other anime. Okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Onyx stones as dark as night rain down. So these have to be like the evil versions of the stones before. Oh. Dang. Well, oh, what the heck? Wait. They appeared. Are these all kids? Children of the light. What the heck? So they just came from space? Music cards. Well, I already like the art style. And they fight using music. Hmm. So this is interesting. I guess these music hearts, they're not actually human. They're from space. And maybe they've been fighting these evil monsters for like hundreds, thousands of years by now. And they only came here because the monsters chose us as targets. Be sure to play me someday. Is he about to discover music?
Interesting. Wait, where the heck did he come from, though? How did he walk up completely unsuspected? So did, like, musical instruments just go extinct in this world? What the heck? They don't even know what a piano is. It's time. Show them the beauty of music. Ooh! Okay! Not bad, not bad. And look, this is probably a first for everyone. Because this kid didn't even know what a piano was. But the question is, if they have no idea what this is, then where did that come from? Or you know what, maybe the adults know. Because she apologized for not being able to show her daughter music. Maybe there used to be music, and then it went extinct not too long ago. So maybe the adults still remember? Meanwhile... Oh, so the- Are these the monsters? Ooh! Hold on! Dang, he said shut off that racket, dude! He is not down with this music! And he immediately went to the piano! Oh man, it's time. Musicart, get him out of here. Get him out of here. Ooh! Ooh! What happened to his hand? Did someone take it? Now she's over here changing forms? Wait, she looks sick! I'm so lost, but I'm so... Amazed at the same time. <laughs> A music art. Hmm, so were they trying to lure this monster out? Oh. Ooh. Dang. So I see there's there's kind of like this synergy between the guy and the girl. Maybe he's like the composer to her music heart. Why? Why? Just like this man loses his arm, it comes back, then he jumps off of a building. Oh, did he run out of energy? I see, I see. His stamina. Wasting my life force. A serious flaw as a weapon. Hmm. No. Oh, tact? Okay. So that's his name. Oh, of course, of course. Both of them blaming each other. Dang! Oh my god! <laughs> Dude, I like her already. She's like this kind of, I don't know, seemingly normal girl that's just ridiculously strong, and when she gets into her, like, music art form, she's ridiculously powerful. But I guess my question now is, like, what was his purpose for playing that piano? Were they trying to lure the monster out, or had he just not seen a piano in forever? And wanted to 
give it a try. Look, they're not even listening to her. And she is just chowing down over there. Yep, okay. So he did just want to try it out. So far, I really like this. The fight scene was amazing. The characters seem fun. And that was a D2. Ah, oh, she's out of snacks. So Cosette is her name. So Tact and Cosette. And then Anne is the girl driving? So is she a musicart too? That's adorable. I require sweets. <laughs> Mother, I require sweets. <laughs> All right, we're chilling at a diner. Wait, so do they just not have music at all whatsoever? I feel like life would be so boring without music. We got more of these monsters. D oh my god, wait! <laughs> She's already done! I didn't even realize how fast she was chowing down over there. She's got quite the appetite. Grand Maestro, wait, what was his name? It was like side something. Oh, you know what? I think I see. I think I see. I have replenished my necessary calories. <laughs> Mm hmm Of course, of course. No one doubted you for a moment. Oh man, it's time. Round two. Just in the middle of the diner. And, yep, that's a new window. That's a new entire wall he's got to purchase there. Look at that. The man was already running out of business. Poor Anne. She's probably got to deal with this all the time, dude. Can we get some Fs? Some Fs for Anne in the chat, please? Or I guess in the comments, since this is on YouTube. So that's so weird. What's this whole, like, having to give up his arm situation about? And he's down.
I failed. Oh! Wait. Wait. I'm so lost. I don't know if she's being overdramatic or... I think she was being overdramatic. I don't think Cosette's really, like, down for the count. Yeah. It's probably because he exhausted his energy so quickly. And she's chowing down again. Get Cosette fixed. So what's wrong with her? <laughs> it's okay, Ann. Dang, she's really like the older sister that's responsible for two, like, wild, ridiculously powerful kids. Oh wow, they even muffled the subtitles. You know what, that's detail right there. Oh, story time? Get him out of here. Wait, that art style! That kind of reminds me of, um, what's it called? Panty and stocking? Something like that? Nice. Okay, so she got caught off guard. That's the only reason she lost. Yeah, look, you're not even touching your food now. They both have their flaws, man. No one's perfect. And this was definitely both of their faults. Hmm. Oh, um... Wait, wait, wait. A great kaboom upon it. Dude, I really like Cosette. This guy's not half bad either. But I was gonna say, um, I don't think that music went extinct. I think they literally can't play music. Or else it's going to attract more of those D2 things. So in order to stay safe, they can't. Oh, but now they can because... Oh, maybe they can't! Hold up! Okay, she's just borrowing it. But, um, I was going to say now they theoretically can because the D2 that was nearby has been taken out. And that's probably also why that jukebox was out of order. And now she's using the piano to lure this guy out. But I feel like this D2 is not going to be like the ones we saw before. Hmm. Maybe that's because they're all talentless. And they're just jealous. Let's go. Well, oh, yeah. This music is beautiful. You know he's gonna come. Is that the thing? I don't think so. It looked like some sort of bug.
Oh my god! Wait, hold on. That actually made me flinch. What the heck? That came out of nowhere. Dang, these monsters look so cool, though. A black stone? Hmm. Oh, okay, is he evolving in real time? What the heck is going on here? Whoa, these birds were always this big? Hey, Cosette, she's ready. Let the performance begin. Let's go, dude, let's go. It's time to handle these clowns. Oh, I love how, like, the inside of her hair is red. That looks so cool. Oh, and this was in the trailer. It's time. Direct hit. Did we crack the, the stone on his back? And here we got the, the goons. And they're getting handled easily. Oh my god! Dude, hold on, this animation is fire. Oh? So this must be some sort of drawback. This thing's pretty durable, though. Look, it's over here evolving again. Mm-hmm. We gotta get rid of it. Yep, let's go. Oh! Okay, not yet. I feel like she's close, though. Oh, maybe not. Unleash the sound. Oh, she's breaking through. Look at that. Slid through like butter. Oh my... <laughs> yeah, he, I think he's done. I think he's done. Holy crap. Of course. It carrying around something that powerful is going to create that massive of an explosion when it's destroyed. Dang, man. This anime is fire. I knew it was a good choice. Beautiful performance there. Both of you killed it. Now we get some nice, calm music to end the episode. They're able to use their jukebox again. Her daughter was able to hear music for the first time in her life. And Anne finally doesn't have a mess to clean up. But uh, I wonder if they're still going to have to repay that broken wall at the diner. Let's see. Only one way to find out. Uh, she's like analyzing the intricacies of a donut. <laughs> I mean, she's not really wrong. What is the purpose of having a hole in a donut? Dude. Beautiful. Beautiful first episode, man. I love these characters. It's like the guy, um, what's his name? Tact? Like, Tact and Cosette, they're both, like, huge oddballs. And then Anne is, like, the only sane one in the group. It's such a good chemistry. Especially because Tact and, um, 
Cosette are always like butting heads. They need to work together in order to get anything done, but whenever they're not like in combat, they're always butting heads. It is so funny to watch, man. I love it. But overall, man, I had an absolute blast watching through this. I told you guys, I told you, going into this, I had very, very high hopes. After reading the synopsis, after seeing the trailer, I had very high hopes for this anime, and it did not disappoint. That was a banger of a pilot episode. I loved it. I cannot wait for the rest of this season. But um, again, just to remind you guys, I'm thinking my schedule is going to be like every Tuesday, we react to TACDOP, every Wednesday, we react to Comey Can't Communicate, and then every Thursday, we react to Platinum End. I think that's going to be my schedule, at least for seasonal anime, and then I'm going to be doing more streams and other anime on the side. I will announce those very soon. But anyways, my question of the day for you guys is going to be who was your favorite character out of our main squad and tact and coset which character kind of i guess spoke to you the most which character could you really vibe with throughout the episode because i feel like all of them are amazing i really like tact because at first i thought he was gonna be like this super kind of edgy protagonist especially when we first see him come into the scene and he's like oh this right here this is a piano here let me show you how to play it real quick and then he starts playing it amazingly but then later on we do see that he does have like somewhat of a goofy side to him he does have this kind of uh, interesting desire to want to play instruments and he has to play instruments and he's willing to do anything to play instruments even if it means luring out a giant d2 monster destroying the entire landscape and having to take out that monster just to play the piano so i really like tact but i think the person that spoke to me was cosette I love Cosette, she's adorable, I think her design, just base design, is it's pretty standard, it's pretty cool, but when she goes into her like music art form, just the blend of like the blonde and red, I think it looks super cool, cause she always has like that red eyeliner, but when you match it with like her clothes, her weapon, the inside of her hair turns red, I just think it looks so dope. I hope we get to see more music arts in the future because their designs are absolutely amazing. Or you know what? Actually list them in your order from like most to least favorite because I love all three of them. But if I had to put them in order, I'd put Cosette at the top. I'd put Anne at number two. F's for Anne, man. She has so much that she has to deal with in just this one episode alone. So who knows how long she's been having to deal with this. And then number three would be Tack. I still love Tack, but Anne and Cosette just kind of spoke to me a bit more than him. And with that, I am going to end the episode here. Thank you all so much for watching this far into the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed. Comment your thoughts on that episode down below and subscribe for more Slice Shonen content. And with that, I am going to head out. So I'll catch you all in the next one. Have a good one. Round one.